August, I'm back, baby. Jake Paul released new training footage ahead of his clash with the legendary Mike Tyson. The legendary boxer responded with his own training footage, showcasing his readiness to take on Paul. Mike Tyson may be a legendary boxer with tons of experience, but at nearly 60 years old, he doesn't stand a chance against a young Jake Paul who's training hard for the fight. MMA fighter Chael Sonnen had this prediction for the upcoming fight. Jake or no, at this, the 30-year difference, Jake gets the edge. Jake, Jake will beat him, but yeah, Mike could go with you him. You think Jake's going to beat Mike yeah. Tyson, Chael? Yeah. Hey, Jake's the real deal. I mean, you know. Chael, Chael Mike Tyson. Tyson. So both fighters have released their first training footage ahead of their clash. But what do the experts have to say about the fight? Who wins this one? Stick around and watch as we find out in this video. The boxing world is fixated on the potential fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, which is scheduled to take place this July. And although boxing purists seem disappointed about the matchup, it looks like Mike Tyson is invested in this fight. He recently released a statement about fighting the YouTuber. Also, both fighters released this first training footage in preparation for the fight. The trailer for the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight was also recently released, as we saw both fighters face off after landing on a helipad. Jake Paul, who has a 9, one professional boxing record, seems excited about this fight as he said, It's crazy to think that in my second pro fight, I went viral for knocking out Nate Robinson on Mike Tyson's undercard. Now, less than four years later, I'm stepping up to face Tyson myself to see if I have what it takes to beat one of boxing's most notorious fighters and biggest icons. He continued, Within just two and a half years of founding MVP, we're about to produce the biggest fight in history, a fight in the biggest NFL stadium in the U.S., broadcast live on the biggest streaming platform in the world, a testament to all we've accomplished in such a short amount of time. Whether you're tuning in on Netflix or showing out in person, whether you're Team Paul or Team Tyson, or whether you're a lifelong boxing fan or watching your first fight, you're not going to want to miss this event. Paul also expressed excitement about the fight, saying, I could not be more excited to make this amazing fight available to all Netflix subscribers alongside the hardest hitter of all time, Mike Tyson, on Saturday, July 20th. My sights are set on becoming a world champion, and now I have a chance to prove myself against the greatest heavyweight champion ever, the baddest man on the planet, and the most dangerous boxer of all time. This will be the fight of a lifetime. July 20th, be there. Good boy. Oh man, I can't wait for the night of the 20th. I'm gonna make you my girlfriend. I'm gonna make Mike my girlfriend. M Mike Tyson also shared his thoughts about the fight saying, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat. It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch. As I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now I plan to finish him. Biggest fight. Yeah, the biggest ever. Ever. It's on pace to be the biggest fight ever. Yeah, and we're involved. <laughs> we're involved, right? We're involved. All those big chefs, all the biggest athletes in the world. It's unclear whether Mike Tyson is doing this for the massive payday or he's genuinely interested in this fight. However, one thing is clear. This fight is going to attract massive pay-per-views and generate a lot of attention for the sport of boxing. However, not many are keen to see this fight as they believe it's a mismatch on a massive scale. At the heart of the debate is the age and physical condition of Mike Tyson. Despite being a legendary figure in the boxing world, Tyson is 57 years old, facing off against a 27-year-old Jake Paul. The concerns are not just about the age gap, but about the physical and cognitive implications of putting a veteran fighter, well past his prime, back into the ring. Tyson, who has a history of punishing fights in the heavyweight division, is at a point in life where the health risks associated with boxing increase significantly. Jake Paul, on the other hand, is a relatively new entrant to the sport, having made a name for himself through bouts against other influencers and retired athletes rather than seasoned boxers. While Paul has demonstrated some level of proficiency and commitment to boxing, his path has been unconventional focusing more on spectacle than on traditional boxing progression. 
This fight, while undeniably a massive draw for viewers and profitable for both fighters, does little to advance Paul's credibility or career in the eyes of boxing purists. Moreover, the fight is criticized for its contribution or lack thereof to the sport of boxing. Traditionalists argue that matches like these, which prioritize entertainment value over athletic competition, undermine the sport's integrity. They fear that boxing is becoming more about the spectacle than about the skill, discipline, and tradition that defined it for generations. See right now? is not Mike Tyson. He's not the guy he was 20 years ago, 10 years ago, four years ago, when he had the, the back and forth spar or exhibition, whatever you want to call it, with Roy Jones. He the safety of both fighters, especially Tyson, is also a significant concern. The physical toll of a lifetime in boxing, combined with the natural decline associated with aging, puts Tyson at a considerable risk of serious injury. There's a poignant contrast between the potential financial gains and the irreversible physical and cognitive damages that could result from the bout. The event's format, being broadcast on Netflix, introduces a novel approach to viewing sports, potentially revolutionizing how audiences engage with live events. This platform change, while innovative, further emphasizes the spectacle over the sport raising questions about the future direction of boxing and whether such shifts will benefit or harm the long-term health and perception of the sport. Many experts have also shared their opinions and predictions for this fight. Former MMA fighter and analyst Chael Sonnen recently shared his insights on the much-discussed fight between Paul and Tyson during an appearance on the Valuetainment podcast. Sonnen's take on this matchup provides a nuanced perspective, blending respect for Tyson's legendary status with a realistic assessment of the factors at play. Sonnen acknowledges the complexities surrounding this bout, notably the age and physical condition of Mike Tyson compared to the younger, less experienced, but physically prime Jake Paul. Despite Tyson's legendary status and his incredible achievements in boxing, Sonnen points out that the realities of age cannot be overlooked. He suggests that while Tyson retains a certain level of skill and power, the physiological effects of aging could significantly impact his performance against a younger opponent like Paul. One of the key points Sonnen raises is the nature of the fight. He elaborates on the distinction between a traditional boxing match and what has been termed an exhibition bout. This differentiation is crucial as it hints at the regulatory and competitive aspects that might define the encounter. Sonnen hints at the possibility that calling it an exhibition might allow for certain leniencies in how the match is conducted and perceived, potentially affecting its legitimacy and the expectations placed upon both fighters. Despite these considerations, Sonnen predicts a victory for Jake Paul. He attributes this outcome not only to Paul's age and physical condition, but also to his dedication to improving his boxing skills over the past years. Paul has faced criticism for his choice of opponents in the past, but Sonnen recognizes his commitment to the sport and the progress he has made. This acknowledgement from a combat sports veteran like Sonnen adds a layer of credibility to Paul's boxing endeavors, even as it stirs debate among purists and fans alike. Sonnen's prediction also reflects on the broader implications for the sport of boxing. The match between Paul and Tyson, regardless of its outcome, signifies a shift in how boxing matches are conceptualized, marketed, and delivered to audiences. It raises questions about the balance between entertainment value and the sport's integrity, a theme that Sonnen subtly addresses through his commentary. In concluding his analysis, Sonnen does not dismiss the concerns regarding the age difference and the potential risks to Tyson. Instead, he frames the fight as a reflection of the changing landscape of combat sports, where traditional boundaries are increasingly blurred in favor of spectacle and mass appeal. While Sonnen predicts a win for Jake Paul, he also acknowledges the complex web of factors that make this fight a subject of fascination and controversy within the boxing community and beyond. Now, Mike Tyson's former trainer, Teddy Atlas, also shared his thoughts about Tyson making his boxing return against Jake Paul. Having a deep history with Tyson as his former coach, Atlas's perspective is particularly valuable, blending respect for the sport's integrity with an acknowledgement of the changing landscape of boxing. Atlas commends Jake Paul for his approach to boxing, emphasizing that Paul has not disrespected the sport despite coming from a non-traditional background. 
He appreciates Paul's effort to learn and improve within boxing, highlighting Paul's courage to step out of his comfort zone and take on challenges that carry real risks. Atlas points out that while some criticize Paul for selecting opponents who are either past their prime or not pure boxers, the commitment to facing seasoned fighters from different combat sports backgrounds demonstrates Paul's willingness to test himself. Regarding the matchup with Mike Tyson, Atlas recognizes the fight's commercial appeal, suggesting that its primary aim is to generate revenue. However, his tone implies a nuanced understanding of the motivations behind the fight. For Tyson, Atlas suggests, it's an opportunity to add another chapter to his legendary career, potentially echoing George Foreman's late career success. For Paul, it's a continuation of his journey in boxing, an endeavor in which he has invested significantly to garner respect within the sport. Atlas's reaction to the fight is layered. He acknowledges the spectacle and the financial incentives, but also hints at a deeper narrative. For Tyson, the fight is a nod to the old guard, a demonstration that age and time spent away from professional competition do not diminish the spirit of a true fighter. For Paul, it's a testament to his dedication to boxing, a sport he entered from the world of social media and entertainment, yet approached with the seriousness and respect it demands. I, I like him because he has not disrespected my sport. I've been in it 50 years. He didn't disrespect. He went, he learned what he had to learn. He busted his backside. In Atlas's view, both fighters are embarking on this match with something to prove, albeit for different reasons. Tyson's participation speaks to a broader theme of legacy and the enduring spirit of competition, while Paul's involvement underscores his commitment to carving out a legitimate space for himself within boxing. Atlas respects the journey both fighters have undertaken, recognizing the fight as a unique intersection of boxing's rich tradition and its evolving future. Now, ahead of their fight, which is still months away, both fighters released their first training footage showcasing how invested they are in this fight. Jake Paul's footage showcases his peak physical form as he focuses on speed, power, and technique. Paul appears sharp, with crisp punches and fluid combinations that suggest a focus on precision and agility. His footwork, a crucial aspect of boxing that allows for effective offense and defense, seems improved, indicating his dedication to mastering the sport's fundamentals. Paul's training regimen includes a mix of sparring, mitt work, and strength and conditioning, all aimed at honing his skills for the specific challenges Tyson presents. August, I'm back, baby. Tyson's training footage, on the other hand, showcases the legendary power and speed that once made him the most feared boxer on the planet. Even at his advanced age, Tyson's ability to generate explosive power in his punches is evident. His training emphasizes speed and power, with Tyson working on delivering his trademark hooks and uppercuts with devastating force. The peekaboo style, characterized by aggressive forward pressure and head movement, is still present suggesting Tyson's intent to bring the fight to Paul aggressively. This upcoming fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson is a clash of eras, styles, and physical primes. On one side, Paul represents the new wave of celebrity-turned-boxers, leveraging modern training methods and social media to carve out a place in the boxing world. On the other, Tyson is a seasoned veteran, a former heavyweight champion whose name is synonymous with knockout power and intimidation. Going into this fight, Paul's youth and physical prime give him an inherent advantage in terms of endurance and recovery. His training footage shows a fighter preparing for a fast-paced bout, likely aiming to use his stamina and agility to outmaneuver Tyson. Tyson's training footage, while demonstrating that he retains a significant degree of his legendary power, also underscores the experience and technique honed over decades. Tyson's strategy might involve closing the distance quickly, using his head movement to evade Paul's attacks, and delivering powerful shots to the body and head. Speaking of the fight, Paul will likely attempt to establish his jab and use his reach advantage to keep Tyson at bay. 
Paul's strategy might involve wearing Tyson down with movement and volume, capitalizing on his youth and conditioning. Tyson, aware of the need to conserve energy, may adopt a more measured approach, looking for opportunities to explode into range and land his powerful hooks and uppercuts. M. Iron Mike may be close to 60. However, underestimating him will be Paul's biggest regret. The fight's outcome hinges on several factors, including Paul's ability to withstand Tyson's power and Tyson's stamina over the course of the bout. If Paul can effectively manage the distance and survive the early rounds, he may be able to outwork Tyson in the later stages. However, Tyson's power remains a game-changer. A well-placed shot could end the fight at any moment. Considering the variables, the prediction is a cautious one. If Tyson can land significant blows early, he could secure a knockout. However, if Paul manages the distance and pace effectively, leveraging his youth and conditioning, he has a strong chance of winning on points or securing a late stoppage as Tyson tires. Now, Jake Paul's decision to step into the ring with Mike Tyson is fraught with risk not just physically, but also for his reputation and the narrative of his burgeoning boxing career. Engaging in a bout with Tyson, a figure revered in boxing lore, Paul walks a tightrope between ambition and potential humiliation. The outcome of this fight, whether victory or defeat, carries implications that could significantly shape public perception of his boxing journey. Should Paul triumph over Tyson, he may not receive the acclaim one might expect from defeating a legendary figure. Tyson, despite being one of the most formidable boxers in history, is significantly past his prime at nearly 60 years of age. Critics and boxing purists may argue that Paul's victory came not from genuine superiority in skill or prowess, but rather from exploiting the vulnerabilities of an older athlete far removed from his peak. Such a win could be dismissed as hollow, doing little to validate Paul's credentials as a serious boxer. Instead of bolstering his reputation, it might reinforce the narrative that Paul's boxing career is built on carefully selected matchups that favor spectacle over competitive integrity. Conversely, a loss to Tyson could be devastating for Paul, being defeated by a fighter decades his senior, regardless of Tyson's legendary status, could be perceived as a significant setback. It would provide ammunition for those who question the legitimacy of Paul's boxing career, suggesting that he lacks the skill to compete even against athletes who are no longer in their competitive prime. This scenario could tarnish Paul's achievements and undermine his efforts to be recognized as a genuine contender in the sport. Moreover, the very nature of this match, pitting a social media star turned boxer against an aging icon, places Paul in a precarious position where the risk of embarrassment looms large, irrespective of the outcome. Victory might be dismissed as unearned, while defeat could be seen as a glaring indictment of his boxing ability. In navigating this high-stakes encounter, Paul's challenge extends beyond the physical confrontation in the ring. He must contend with the complex dynamics of legacy, credibility, and respect within the boxing community. The fight against Tyson is not just a test of Paul's physical capabilities, but also of his ability to manage the delicate balance between ambition and the pursuit of legitimacy in a sport deeply rooted in tradition and respect for its history. But what are your thoughts on this fight? Do you think Jake Paul can come out victorious in this fight? Or will he be annihilated by the iconic boxer? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.